What is up YouTube? This is Nando Prince 93 and I'm here with my first instructional video. I'm going to teach you guys how to get GBA for iOS. So basically Game Boy Advance running on your iOS device. iOS 7 works for all iOS devices. Uh, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, 5C, iPod Touch, iPad. I actually use it on my iPad a lot more than I do on my iPhone. Um, I'm a avid Pokemon addict as you can see I got my Game Boy the Pokemon Red I love the oldies and so I'm gonna teach you how to get the Game Boy emulator without being jailbroken so here we go so the first thing you have to do is you go to settings date and time turn off set automatically and what you're gonna do is you're gonna manually change the time the date to before any date in 2012 so right now I'm gonna choose November 17th 2012 and you get out go back to the home screen go to Safari and what you do is you go in Safari you cannot use Google Chrome you have to use Safari you go to coolroms.com and then you have three options tutorial which helps it gives you more information emulators and then ROM files you go to emulators then you have different options this also works for Android and for Windows phones and if you're jailbroken, it even works. We're going to go non-jailbroken. It says here, make sure you're in 2012 before installing. There's different emulators. Obviously, since you're not jailbroken, there's less emulators. But it is a lot safer because you're not jailbroken. I'm going to go GBA for iOS. Install. And there it is installing. What I love about this is you just go into the app. You can search straight from the app what games you want. You open it in Safari, press continue, and you're right back into Cool ROMs. Like I said before, I love Pokemon games. I'm going to go Pokemon Fire Red. Remember, you have to be in 2012. You go all the way down, you scroll down, you can vote on it, and you just press download now. Now you wait. You see the little icon there spinning? That means it's downloading. There, it's downloaded. And instead of opening in Google Drive, you open, go to the press and left, open in GBA for iOS. There it is, Pokemon Fire Red. Now you have the game that you want to play the actual game. You just click on it, and there it is. You can see it. Pokemon Fire Red works just like a Game Boy. You can you press menu. You can toggle speed to make it go faster, just like the emulators on your computer. You can do save states, load states, you can quick game. Also, from the history of me playing, you can actually save in-game. So you don't have to just save the state. Which is awesome. So it just makes it more realistic. You just press start, save. It's quick game. Go right back into it. I like to, talk, I like to go fast. And there it is. Quick game. For the settings... You have different skins, so you can press a Nintendo Wii for portrait, and it's a different skin. Let's quit this again. Now some other settings we have are we have the Nintendo Wii setting, you have different frame skip settings, and then you have the landscape controller skins, scale to fit screen, check for updates, auto save, and as you can see cheats are coming soon, which will be released in the GBA for iOS 2.0. Um, which there's a lot more info about it if you follow at Riley Test UT. Um, the plan is that there's gonna be it's gonna be a Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color emulator. There's gonna be cloud saving, a lot more skins, the ability to customize your own skins, stuff like that. Now let's see how it works sound wise. I have to take it out because the dog that I have has an aux cable. So sound wise, let's see how it works. As you can see. At normal speed, the game sounds pretty good. But uh, if you toggle speed, it's, it's gonna mess it up and, and go pretty fast. That's why usually, usually when I play, I play without sound. And the way you get to landscape, all you do is turn it. You have a full screen landscape Game Boy Color with the menu up here, and then the other 
the other landscape controller skin. It's like that. It's a little small. This is, this is the skin I use on my iPad because it makes the screen a lot bigger and it just looks nicer. Um, but that is it. That is GBA for iOS. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the first instructional video that I made. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, this is Nando from 93 and I'm out.